Hello everyone and welcome back to Victoria Free. Last episode we began our journey as France. One thing I would like to address first is our economy. It's in the toilet at the moment and we need to fix this. However, after playing another 12 hours of this game in my free time, I now know why. If you'll recall last episode, I was building industry to see what stuck, but because we did that, we have a lot of buildings earning us negative revenue. So one of the first things I'm going to do this episode is address this issue and only develop buildings and infrastructure in the regions that will generate revenue. The first thing first, I'm just going to go through each one of these. Is this earning us revenue? Probably not. 10.5 It is going up. That's good. What about this one? Any more won't give us any more industry, uh, any revenue. So let's just drop that. That's going up. That's going up. That can generate more. That will not. It's going up. We'll just keep it as it is, though. Uh, we will not increase that one either. No. Okay. Was this railway going to earn us money? No. And that is all we're going to do for the next 10 or so minutes. So I'll cut back to you once I have completed this task. Uh, actually, what we're going to do. This thing we're going to do is just get rid of all of these stuff that we're building. There is no cancel all button, which is a bit sad. Right. Let's have a look. Motor Industries is going to earn us money, so let's build that. Food industry is going to earn us money. Furniture manufacturers. Glassworks. Paper mills. Textiles. Tooling workshops. Those will not. Logging camp will build us more revenue, so we will build that up. Fishing wharves will not. Okay, now that's what we're going to be doing from now on, so I'm just going to cut to after I've completed this task from both here in France and our overseas colonies. I'll see you again shortly. Alright, with that all being addressed, the next thing we probably want to look at is I'm fixing this up, so let's grab it from the American market, the ammunition. And the engines... We would like to grab it from the Belgian market. Alright. So that is us for the time being. I will probably skip forward a little bit until some, something interesting starts coming up. I think what we're going to do is also we're going to take Turin for ourselves. I would like to have Anansi under our Sefer of Influence. What are we actually researching at the moment? We are researching Quinine, which will allow us to do all those stuff, all those expeditions. Cool. Then we probably need to start focusing on production. As you can see, our economy is... oh. It was getting better. Now, to fix bureaucracy, you need to build government buildings. Now, we're not going to do that just at the moment, because at this current stage, we don't have the economy to house any government buildings. Government buildings don't earn us any money, they take money. And, well, for obvious reasons, that's not a good thing to do. Okay, so we've just cancelled our law that we're trying to push through for the right of assembly and the reason being is we have more dissenters than we do have those approving of it so we are now going to change the law that we're going to focus on and we're going to have migration controls Hey, our money's starting to go back up. Excellent. Anyway, I'll cut back when something interesting starting to happen. Alright, so the, because that technology has just come through just then, we can now go through 
and actually change some of these um, manufactories that would use it only if they earn us money. So if we hover over it, you see here substitution is minus one, uh, 1.9k. Doesn't which means that if we were change it from pot stills to percent skills, even though we get 480 more liquor, we overall get less money, so it's not worth doing. Furniture manufacturer, water tube boiler, again, negatives, don't want that. However, with the tooling workshop, this is beneficial. So we will put it on there. Paper mills, not beneficial. And it is beneficial for steel mills, so we'd put it onto that one. And it's not beneficial in motor industry, so we will forget about doing it on that one. Now, if we go to rural, changing the coal mines to condensing, to the condensing engine pump is not worth it. It is worth it for the iron mines, though, so let's change it. Lead mines, very much no. Sulfur mines, no. Alrighty. Alright, elections in. We have to reform the government. Yep. And confirm. Now, because we've changed the government, it means we now have different laws that might be open up to us once we've finished with this one. All right, we've just researched Quinine, so we can now start doing expeditions. So if we go to the journal, go to decisions, we can now do the expedition to find the source of the Nile and acquire land in the Sinai. And that is what we were going for last time. So if we come over here, we now have the Sinai or well, this little part of the Sinai Desert. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to build a port and then we're going to build the government administration. Then we're going to build the Suez Canal. And then we're going to build a bunch of stuff eventually once every, all that is built. And we're going to bump those up to the top of the queue. So if we go to the last page in our building queue, all nine pages of it, we have the Suez Canal, we have government administration, and we have the port, which is what we want. Now that that's done, we're going to have a look at our production tab, and we're going to research crystal glass, because glass actually provides some very good monetary value. Now there's a war that's currently about to happen with Oldenburg. Which we're not going to bother interfering with because who's the Austria is backing them. Württemberg. I mean, we can go either way here. You know what? Let's go to war. Let's put our support towards. Oldenburg. We are now going to go to the military tab. Uh, actually, we'll just go to this one. We'll mobilize you and we'll put you onto this front here. And we will call up the divisions that we want as we need them. Or other armies as we need them. So we mobilize them all at the same time. That way the economy is not hurting too badly. Right, we're now at war. Jeez, look at the dead and wounded. We 
going to do is we're going to mobilize another commander. And we're going to have you attack on this front as well. Oh, what's this? In Arabia. Crucial states for these guys. Uh, I'm going to declare my neutrality. Uh, let's just go over to the British side and see if we can get can't get anything out of it. Why are we not attacking here? Let's have a look. Military. Push, push lads. Because we've got no opposition, we're just steamrolling through. So one thing that bothers me about this game with the military, uh, because you can't control it, they so sometimes will randomly be like, oh hey, um, we lost the battle in an attack, so we're actually going to run all the way back to wherever we got mobilized in. And we're going to mobilize some more. Uh, if we go to the military tab, we're going to mo mobilize all. Yes. And we're going to activate all our conscripts. I'm going to put you guys all onto this front. So we've got another few more units coming. Wow, we got pushed very far back in that. Why are we getting so... Yeah, they're all on the front. Yeah. Why do we have only got five units protecting that front? That's balmy. Uh oh. This is not going our way. Why is this going backwards? Oh, I don't like this military. I, I much prefer controlling my own armies. Why can't we control our own blooming armies? Yep, yeah, okay. Weird. But we have superior numbers, yet we're not throwing more into the field. Let's just get all our military leaders to actually just go into the defensive for the uh, time being. There we go, we're now winning this. Alright, he's now losing, so... Ben. Alright, just building up our forces until such time as they're ready. These weaker uh, armies, we're just going to keep them in defense. Wait for these guys to get to the um, their fullest potential, or as close as possible. Right, military. How are we going? Alright. Now I want you to advance. Take back our land. How 
are you getting defeated? Do we not have the superior numbers? Uh, let us do canneries because that's very good for the food industry. These guys are all defending. That's totally fine. Well, we've been humiliated in a war, so that's fine. It just says to me that before we take on Turin, we need to increase our military technology, which we might actually do. Build works. Uh, and triage would be a one to go for as well. I think would be best. We'll work on that after we've done the canneries, because at the moment we need money. Alright, Prussia v North Germany. We're going to side with Hamburg, but we are probably not going to go to war. We're going to cancel the migration control law. Let's see if we can't pass another law for the thing changes. Colonial exploitation we want because that gives us a lot of money. However, what else do we have? Compulsory primary school. Let's go straight for that. Get ch child labor out of there. Alrighty, so I'm just going to go through this, all of this and just tweak it to suit what we are currently doing. Oh, I'll tweak it so it, if we start earning a lot more money than what we currently are. All right, we're all right. We're back at war with Prussia and Hohenzollern, coming to the aid of Mecklenburg, Strelitz, and Saxony in their, I guess, their liberation. It'll keep them uh, alive, I guess. Um, and the other thing is, triage has just come into effect. So if we just quickly come down to here. And just change all of these guys to first aid so that way we can actually get some trickle back for those who are wounded <clears throat> we might need to reinforce our military on that front so let's go to army let us mobilize our next highest amount Again, why are you only sending only seven units against twelve? Right, we've got the rifling technology. We're now going to go down to modern nursing. We're going to grab that one. It's only going to take us just over two years to get that. Well, there goes that war. Unfortunately, that is where we will have to end this episode. This recording did go on for about three hours. I got a little bit carried away. Stay tuned for next episode because there's plenty more to come. As always, I've been your host, Sir Firecat, and until next time, take care.